Okay, today we will cover chapter 2, small molecule and the chemistry of life. Okay, chapter 2 is composed of the four parts. First one is we will cover the atom and also we will cover the, the molecule and we will briefly cover chemical reaction and finally we will cover property of water. Okay. Okay. This is the first chapter. Okay. The first one is the the at atom. Okay. What is atom? In Korean, we call it as wanza. Okay. So atom is composed of two parts. One is the nucleus. The other is electron part. Okay. In figure 2.1 summarize that atom has a nucleus composed of the proton, positively charged, and non-charged neutral. And also uh, composed of neutron and proton surrounded by electron. Surrounded by electron is like this. Okay? So if you see the details, each photon has the mass one, one, one. And photon has also has positive charges, plus, plus charges. And what neutron has the mass one, but their charge is that they don't have any charges. <laughs> okay. Another component of the atom is electron. So electron is that <laughs> electron is the negative charge is like this. Okay? So this is the atom. And also this is the periodic table. So starting from the, the hydrogen, and there are a lot of the, the element is like this, because the, our course is not chemistry course. I will briefly explain the, the periodic tables. Okay? So each one, hydrogen, and the helium, and the lithium, and the beryllium, so we call it as the element. In Korean, we call it as the one So element means the fundamental substances containing only one kind of atom. So this is, the, we call it as the one or element. Okay? So next, we have to know the important concept, atomic number and the atomic weight. Okay. Let me see the, the uh, this one. Okay. The the second one, uh, second element is helium. So their ato atomic number is the two. Atomic number means that number of proton. So they have one, two protons. Okay. And also in the periodic table, helium two is that atomic number. The bottom they have the atomic weight. Atomic weight is the number of the proton plus neutral. Because helium has the two proton and two neutron, so their atomic number is four like this. Okay? So we don't have to, because this is not chemistry class, so we don't have to memorize all of the, 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 the elements. But important thing, we have to know the atomic number <coughs> and the atomic weight is like this. And next thing, we have to know isotype. Okay? Ice type. In Korean, we call it as Dongyi Wanso. 
In Korean, we call it as Dongi Wonso. So Haido Zen has the, uh, they have the three eyes of type. First one, we already know that Haido Zen H. Second one, another eyes top of hydrogen is deuterium. The final one is tritium. The important thing is that ice type is they have the same number of protons. Okay, they have a one proton, one proton, one proton. But they have the different number of neutron. For example, the hydrogen, they don't have the neutron. Second one is deuterium. They have one neutron, like this. Another one, the final one is tritium. The tritium is they have the two neutron. So that's why their molecular weight, hydrogen is one. One is like this. Molecular weight, uh, atomic weight is deuterium is one plus one, two. And tritium is one plus two is three is like this. So we usually we use the isotope to identify the origin of biological sample. For example, this is the uh, figure, this figure to show that uh, uh, this is the the meth timber. So they ha they have beef. And this is comes from the, the China, uh, China uh, McDonald, and this is comes from the uh, uh, the American McDonald. So we don't know. So without the ranges, we don't know this beef is comes from China or this beef is comes from the America. We don't know. But table A show that the Usually, the all of the, the carbon, the carbon is their atomic weight is 12, but they have another isotope. Atomic number, uh, atomic weight is 13, is like this. So, we always use the, this ratio. For example, China, China has their ratio is about 13.9. How about the USA? They have 14.5. So after we analyze the, the beef, one is comes uh, one is the like the zero point uh, one is like the around the or uh, zero point one three eight ppm like this. Another is that this is around 0.1.4. Based on this data, we show that we found that this is comes from this beef is comes from America, and this beef is comes from China. It's like this. Okay. So isotope can be used identifying the origin of the biological sample. Very famous example is uh, we can use the, this ratio. Okay. Now we will cover electron orbital. So most of you already learned chemistry. So today is not chemistry uh, lecture, but I will briefly explain the electrons orbital. Orbital. So orbital means that the region of a space where the electron is found. Okay. Orbital is composed of the first shell, and they also composed. Uh, of the second shell, 
And this one, uh, this element, they have the first shell, second shell, third shell is like this. Okay, let me start from the first shell. So this is the first shell. Okay. First shell, they have the orbital, but they have the one s orbital. This one s orbital can hold up to two electrons. Okay, so for example, hydrogen, uh, they have the uh, first uh, 1s orbital, but they only have the one electron. Okay, second one is helium. They have the 1s orbital, but they have the two electron is like this. Okay. Okay, let me go to the second shell. The second shell is composed of 2s orbital plus p orbital. p orbital is composed of the px orbital and py orbital and phz orbital. So this p orbital can hold up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 orbital is like this. So let me start from the lithium. Lithium has their proton number is 3, and they have the 3 electron. So 2 electron is go to the first shell, and the remaining 1 electron go to the second shell. So this is the, the carbon. Their proton number is the 6, and they have 6 electron, 1, 2, and and 1, 2 is located in the 1s orbital. The other 3, 4, 5, 6 is located in the, uh, in the second shell. Okay, second shell, they contain 2 plus 6. They can contain up to 8 electron. How about the neon? Neon is, uh, they have the 10 proton, okay? One uh, first shell, they can contain the two, and second shell, they can contain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One is located into 2s orbital, a uh, two electron is located in 2s orbital, and the other six electron is located in the p orbital, especially the px, py, and pz, it's like this. Okay? Okay. Now is the we will cover second subject, the chemical bonds. Okay, chemical bond is that attractive force, attractive, not attractive. This is attractive and this is repulsive. Okay. Okay. So chemical bonds means that attractive force that links two atoms together. Okay, chemical bond is composed of starting from the covalent bond, ionic bond, finally there is the van der Waals force. So we will cover details, okay? So let me start from the covalent bond. Whenever you have a question, please let me know. So covalent bond means that in Korean we call it as a gongnyu gerap. In Korean we call it as gongnyu gerap. So covalent bond is formed when two atoms share one or more pairs of electron. Okay, let me start from the hydrogen H two. Okay, so for example, one atom hydrogen atom and the other atom. These two atom is uh, shares one pair, one pairs of electron. At that hydrogen atom make the hydrogen molecules. Covalent bond forms compound. The atom becomes compound, especially the hydrogen molecules. Okay? 
let me go to the this is hydrogen atom they have one pairs of electricians one pairs of electron how about the oxygen oxygen have they shares two pairs of electron and how about methane they have one two three four they share the four pairs of electron so they will make the compound is like this okay so each atom so they combine together so they will make the compound in each this case is the methane we call it as methane okay methane is the carbon is located here and hydrogen is located here like this okay okay And because the, the covalent bond is formed when two atoms share the electron, they are very strong. They are very strong. They are very strong. It's very difficult to break the covalent bond. Okay. Another one is that ionic bonds. Okay. So formed by electrical attraction between the positive and negative ion okay let me start from the NaCl between the NaCl there is the ionic bond is available okay so let me start from the sodium okay sodium sodium if we memorize the periodic table, sodium, the uh, atomic number is 11. Okay, it means that they have the 11 proton and they have the 11 electron is like this. Okay, two is located in first shell, eight is located in the second shell, final one is located in the third shell is like this. How about the other part? Chlorine, Cl, we call it the Cl, chlorine. Their, uh, their atomic number is 17. But this is not chemistry class. You don't have to memorize the atomic number. Okay. 17 means that 2 is located in first shell, and 8 is located in second shell, and 7 is located in the third shell. Okay. Only one is uh, the blank, okay? Okay. So usually the between the sodium and chlorine, chlorine is more electronegative than the sodium. So in this case, the, a transfer of electron, complete transfer of electron, is may happens. At that, after electron transfer it happens, the sodium becomes plus charges and chlorine becomes negative charges. So, so that's why ionic bond is formed between the positive and the negative ions. Okay? So both Na plus they have a full, full electron shell. First shell is, a, is a composed of two electrons. Second shell is composed of eight full, full, full electron. And how about chlorine? Their first shell is composed of two. Second shell, eight. Third cell, the eight. So they are very, they are full of the electron and they are very stable. So when ionic bond is happens, they are very they becomes very stable. Okay. Any question? Okay. <coughs> Another one is hydrogen bonding. So hydrogen bonding we call it as the Suso get up, Suso get up. Okay, 
poems between a so poems between a negative charge on one molecule. For example, this is H two O. So within one molecule, so a water molecule they are polar. Okay, for example. This is methane. Okay, they have the three rats and the one hands. So they are very stable. So in this case, methane. We call it as a uh, non-polar. Okay. How about H2O? H2O is like, like this. So we call it, a, the, the shape is not stable, so we call it as polar, it's like this. So, so this one is the more negative than hydrogen. Okay, so this is the plus, we call it as like this, okay? So this oxygen, they have relatively negative charges. Delta minus is like this. Okay, this hydrogen, they are relatively uh, positive. Okay, hydrogen bond between the negative charge on one molecule and the positive charge on hydrogen atom, especially the hydrogen atom of the second molecule. Or it can form between the same large molecule. Okay, this, so this is the mm, uh, negative charges and this is the positive charges hydrogen atom. So between here, that is the hydrogen bonding is happens like this. Okay. So now we will cover hydrophilic interaction and hydrophobic interaction. So hydrophilic, so if we divided hydrophilic, hydro means that water, philic means that like, so they, they, they like the water. Hydro, how about hydrophobic? Hydrophobic means that water plus phobic is dislike, okay? It means that they don't like water, okay? So how about just starting from the hydrophilic interaction? For example, this is the um, hydrogen fluoride. So this is the HF. hydrogen fluoride, so they look like the polar. They are not stable, like, so this, this is very stable, so we call it a non-polar, but HF, hydrogen fluoride, it looks like the, the polar, okay? So this is the hydrogen and this is fluoride, okay? So molecule with polar covalent bonds, so hydrogen fluoride have the polar covalent bond. So this molecule is attracted to water. This is water, 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 water. So this molecule is are attracted to water. Water is a, they also polar. Okay, so between the, this hydrogen fluoride and water, there is the hydrophilic interaction is happens. Okay, how about hydrophobic interaction? So molecules with non-polar covalent bonds. Okay, this is methane. So this structure looks like the methane. Okay, these non molecules with non-polar covalent bonds shows great attraction 
to one another than to water. So this is water, but they attract one another. Okay, so this is non-polar molecule, non-polar molecule. This is water, 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 water. But when non-polar molecule, non-polar molecule, they meet each other, so they show the higher attraction is like this. Okay. Like this. Park Subin is comes from the department of Athlet. Konyokseum is also comes from the same, the same department. So they are close to each other. Kang okay. Yubin comes from the Energy House Waka. Kang Kang Anji. Kang Jian is also comes from the uh, Energy House Waka. So they show that the uh, uh, hydrophobic interaction. So the, they, are, they are located here. Okay. Okay. The other uh, our. Department of biology is water. Okay, <laughs> so but they close to each other. Okay, our department of biology, we are water, and we are close to each other. Okay, yeah. and the layer and marine is comes from the plants. Okay, so they are close to each other. Okay, so they they are they they sit next to next. Okay, so uh, between them there is hydrophobic interaction is happen. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Final one is the Van de Waals interaction. So this is the reptile, and this is the glass. Okay. So reptile can walk in the in the window so like this. Okay. Why reptile can bind to the windows? Because the, between the window and the reptile's legs, there is a van der Waals infection that happens. That's why reptile can walk on the windows like this. Okay. But we have to know the two important terminology of the adjacent. What is other days? What what's the meaning of other adjacent? They are very close. When they are very close, or and also there another criteria is uncharged. Okay, this is the for example, this is uh, atom. They have uh, four proton. They have four the electron, and also this is another atom. They have a four proton and four. Electron is like this. So when they are close to each other, when they are far away, there is no van der Waals interaction. But when they were close to each other, for example, less than five nanometer, it's like this. In this, when they are very close. When they are very close, for example, in this case, photon is located to go to the another location, the electron is located here, and photon is located here, electron is located in another part. So between the photon and the electron, between them, attraction is happens. Okay? That's why it's a reptile can bind to the windows like this. Okay? But they are uncharged. Their charge is zero. This is also uncharged. First one is adjacent, very close. The other one is they are uncharged. When this is happens, van der Waals interaction is happens. Uh, between the proteins, also there is a van der Waals interaction is happens. Okay. Okay. So, for example, in the prote proteins, so when their their region is hydrophobic region, so usually the van der Waals interaction is happens. But I will not cover details. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So let me go to, let me summarize again. So we cover the covalent bond. Covalent bond means the shell, the electron pairs, one pair or two pairs, three pairs like this. The ionic bond is attraction between the positive and negative charge, opposite charges. And another one, hydrogen bonding between the hydrogen and also another molecule is a negatively charged, uh, um, relatively negatively charged between oxygen is the relatively, ne relatively negatively charged between them, hydrogen bonding is happening. Hydrophobic infection means that infection of non-polar substance in the presence of polar substances, for example, the water. Water is polar substance. So in the presence of our department of biology, uh, um, for example, department of athletics, they are close to each other. The marine and Maya, they are close to each other. Kangyubin and Kangjian, they are, they are close to each other. Okay. The final one is the Van der Waals interaction. Interaction of electrons of non-polar substances. When they are very close, Van der Waals interaction is happening. Hydrogen is non-polar, methane is non-polar. But between them, when they are very close, Van der Waals interaction is happening. Okay. Okay, let me go to the third part, chemical reaction. Okay. So this atom, carbon, and hydrogen, they made the compound, propane, and oxygen, or Oxygen, so they make the oxygen parties right here. Uh, the, the atom oxygen, they made the oxygen molecules like this. And also carbon and oxygen, they make the CO2. And this is the water, H2O, H2O. Okay? So chemical reaction means the reaction to make the product. Okay, so for example, one, one molecule of the propane react to be the five oxygen. So this is the uh, propane, one molecule of propane and the five molecule of oxygen, they are reactant. So when they react, they made three products. First one is the three molecule of carbon and four molecule of the H2O. Finally, they will make the heat or light. It's like this. They make heat or light. It's like this. So this is the chemical reaction. So usually the reactant, they combine to each other. After that, they will make the product with light and uh, the heat. Kim Jong-un, okay. okay, so this is the, I summarized the uh, third part of second chapter, chemical reaction transform the substances. So between the propane and oxygen, chemical reaction is happens. So they transform the substances to the CO2 and H2O and heat and light is like this. Okay? This is recorded as chemical reaction. So during the chemical reaction, bonding partner and the energies make changes in chemical the reaction. For example, this carbon is bind to the this 
hydrogen, but now is this carbon is bind to the another oxygen is like this. So they will change the binding partner. Okay. And also their energy status is the uh, propane have they have the higher they have propane Their energy status, they are higher energy status. For CO2, they have relative lower energy status. Okay? So they, uh, there is energy may changes in the chemical reactions. Okay? Did you understand it? Okay, I try to explain very simply. Okay? Okay. Now is we will go to the final subject. The property of water are critical to chemistry of life. Now we will cover the final subject, water. Okay, so this is the water structure, it's like this. Okay. So this is like this. So they have, this is water. They are composed of oxygen and they are composed of two hydrogen. Between the oxygen and hydrogen, they, they share one electron pairs. And also between the oxygen and hydrogen, they also share one uh, electron pairs. But they also have the oxygen has another non-bonding. So this is bonding, but they have non-bonding electron pairs. They have non-bonding electron pairs is like this. Okay, that's why they they are, they look they this is looks very very stable, but this is looks unstable. That's why we call it as polar. Okay. Okay, so for uh, they have the three status. One is the vapor. They they have the gaseous state of water, and also the solid water, ice, and the liquid water is like this. Okay, so during when they were in the gaseous status, gaseous water. So in its gaseous state, water does not form hydrogen bonding. But in ice, you will see that loss of hydrogen bonding is like this. But in water, in water, hydrogen bonding continues, break and form, break and form, break and form, like this. Okay. Okay. And also, okay, they have two shared electron pairs. They have two uh, non-bonding electron pairs like this. Okay. So they have the one. They have the. Oh, so their status is like this. Okay. So they have the oh, four pairs of electron uh, electron shares. But this one is they looks very stable. But even though they have four, four pairs of electron shares, uh, they have two, uh, they have uh, two electron, two electron. Uh, but they are they look like unstable. So that's why we call it as polar. It's like this. Okay. Also, in our homework, there is questioning about our property of water. So I already uploaded uh, our homework, okay? So you have to solve it, okay? And you have to submit it by this Saturday, okay? If you submit, you will get, automatically get five points. If you did not submit, you will get the zero point, okay? Oh, okay, Marie. Yeah, one assignment for chapter. The chapter one, we don't have assignment. From chapter two, we will have each week, uh, we, we, we will have the 
one set or one form of it. Okay. Okay. Do you have any question? Okay. First property is that they have a high heat of vaporization. High heat of vaporization. In Korean, we call it as nopun jihayo. Okay. Also, second one is they have the higher, they have the cohesion, cohesion property. And also final one is uh, they have a property of buffer. So water acts as buffer. Okay, they have three property. Okay. So let me start from the high heat of vaporization. So if you see the figure A, so whenever we are in the hot environment, we we usually have the three three okay, in the skin. Okay. So sweetening uses evaporation of water to cool the body. Okay. Water has the high heat of vaporization, so a lot of heat energy is required to change the water from liquid to gaseous status. So th this is recorded as evaporation. So during the, this step, a lot of heat energy must be absorbed from the environment in contact with the water. Okay? So it means that result in the cooling. For example, skin, skin after, uh, after we sweep, sweep uh, uh, after we sweep, there are lots of water is located in our skin. Okay? Skin is in contact with the water. So water is evaporated. During that time, high heat energy in the skin is go to the water. That's why our skin is cool. Do you understand it? Okay. 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 So the the property, the first property, water has high heat of vaporization. Okay. Second property is they have the cohesion. In Korean, we call it as Okay. Because that, uh, because this is the water, water molecules. So between the water molecules, hydrogen bonding is happens. Water is the polar. They, they have, they, 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 uh, their structure is polar. And also between the, this is the water. Between this hydrogen, uh, hydrogen and between this oxygen, there is always the hydrogen bonding is happens. So hydrogen bonding between water cause them to stick together. That's why this is the plant. Their height is very high, but this because of this property helps water from root to the leaf. Why? Because the water has a cohesion property. Okay, so and also the cohesive cohesive forces of water between the water there is a hydrogen bonding is happen so they are attract each other so this is water so uh, in this case there is space tension Permian Zhangyeok is happen so like this so that's why water is look like the like like this so the Permian Zhangyeok is happens 
space tension is happens. Because of space tension of the water, so this, this insect can uh, 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 they can stand on the water because of the space tension of water. Because of the space tension of water, they look like this. Okay, they are very round, is like this. Okay. Okay. So let me at that. Let me explain the final property of the water. The final property of water is buffer. So to explain the buffer, I have to explain the important uh, criteria first. Okay. The reason why I explain the acid and base. Finally, I want to explain the what is buffer. Okay. Okay. Acid is that we already know that acid is donate hydrogen ion to another particle. Okay. And the base means that accept this is base. This can accept hydrogen ion from another partner. Okay. Between the acid and base, the acid is donated hydrogen to the base. And the base is accept hydrogen ion. Okay, so usually this is our pH value. The lemon juice is our very very acidic. Our milk is a little bit the basic. Alkali they have the base. They are very basic. Okay. Okay, acid and base. Okay. And but water acts as both weak acid and weak base. Okay? So this is the two molecules of water. This is H2O and this is H2O. Between the H2O, there is hydrogen bonding, it happens. Okay? When two molecules of uh, H2O is when they combine, they will make the uh, Hydronium ion. This means they have one oxygen, they have three hydrogen. The other one is uh, they, they will make the OH is like this, hydroxide ion. Okay? So because the when they combine to each other, they will make the hydronium ion. This is function as weak acid. Hydroxide ion, this is function as weak base. Okay. So water molecule function as a weak, ac weak acid and weak base. Okay. For weak acid, they hydrogen ion function as a weak acid, and hydroxide ion function as the weak base. <coughs> okay. And pH is very important to our biological reaction. For example, our stomach has, has the pepsin to digest the, the protein. So this, the, uh, our pepsin, only their activity is only works around the acidic condition. It, when we, and also in our mouth, we have the uh, salivary amylase in our uh, mouth. This is the this is function very well around pH seven. And another one is function at uh, pH very basic environment. They are function, but when they were in the acidic condition, their function is drops like this. So pH is influence the rate of biological reaction. So our organism, our human body, uses buffer to minimize the, the pH changes. Okay. Our body, our body uses buffer to minimize change in the pH. Okay. So this is buffer. 
one example of a cross solution. Okay. So this is the this graph is uh, uh, okay. This graph is a uh, pH is when we because this is the the x axis means that amount of base added. So and so so when we added zero ml of the base, the actual the pH is around the pH two or something like that. So in the absence, in the presence of buffer, in the absence of buffer, there are two cases. Okay, if there is no buffer in our human body, our pH, whenever we added the base, our pH will drop very quickly. So if we added 0.5 ml of base, our pH is dropped our pH is increased from the two <coughs> to nine is like this. Okay. However, our human body has more problems. So in the in the presence of water, even though we added the base, so pH is changes very slowly is like this. Start from two, three, four, five. Six, at that, they will change is very quickly, it's like this. <coughs> so when the buffering capacity is exceeded, at that added base greatly increase pH is like this. So buffer is a solution. Buffer is a solution that change pH only slightly when small amount of acid or small amount of strong base is added. So this is buffer. Our organism uses buffer to minimize pH changes. Okay, the final, this one is very important. Okay, in buffer, we have the acidic buffer and we have alkaline buffer. Acid buffer is a mixture of weak acid and its conjugate base. The base buffer is a mixture of weak base and its conjugate buffer, uh, acid. But our water, water acts as weak acid. They are, when they, when they combine to each other, one will become hydronium ion, and one will become hydroxide ion. So they function as the weak acid, or they function as weak base. Okay, that's why water can function as buffer. Because our body has lots of water, our body has maybe eighty percent of our body is composed of the water. That's why even we drink the lemon juice. Our, our body pH does not change is very quickly because we have a lot of water. Water function as buffer. Okay? Do you understand it? Okay. Okay.